Tensions flared Saturday night as supporters of President Donald Trump clashed with counter-protesters in the streets of the nation's capital. Police were on bikes trying to calm the crowds while people chanted in the streets. One person was stabbed and rushed to a trauma center, according to the City Fire and Emergency Medical Services Department. The Washington Post reported that the stabbing occurred during a clash between Trump supporters and counter-protesters around 8 p.m. According to local reports, police made 20 arrests. The violent clashes came after a day that saw tens of thousands of President Trump supporters descend on Washington for a protest to back his unsubstantiated claims of election fraud. It's not even close to being over. And those people that are telling you right now that it is over are lying to you. Trump has so far refused to concede to Biden and claims without evidence that he was cheated by widespread election fraud. In the morning, Trump's motorcade drove through the crowds on the way to his golf course in Sterling, Virginia. Demonstrators cheered as the president waved from inside the presidential limousine. Among the protesters were members of the far-right Proud Boys group, clad in black, with some wearing helmets and ballistic vests. The Trump supporters, many not wearing masks, marched from Freedom Plaza near the White House to the U.S. Supreme Court.